Welcome to the Hydrogenation of Benzene to Cyclohexane series for Aspen Plus version 10. This video series serves as an introduction to Aspen Plus for chemical engineering students studying material and energy balances. In this video, a sensitivity analysis will be introduced. In general, a sensitivity analysis is the study of the relationships amongst processed variables. In Aspen, a sensitivity analysis can be done to determine what changes will have the largest effect on different parts of a process. For our hydrogenation model, we will examine the sensitivity of changing the temperature and mole flow of stream 5H2 on the ratio of hydrogen to benzene in stream 4 mix hot. After opening the hydrogenation model from its last saved spot, in the navigation pane, select Sensitivity in the Model Analysis Tools folder. Click New, let the ID be S1, and click OK. Now, switch the Define tab of the S1 Sensitivity Analysis. Click New to create a new variable, and name the variable H2 mole flow, indicating the molar flow of the hydrogen of the 4 mix hot stream. Specify this variable's reference type to be mole flow. Stream to 4 mix hot. And component to hydrogen. We must now create a similar variable for the benzene mole flow in the 4 mix hot stream. Staying in the Define tab, click New and name the variable to BZ mole flow. Next, double click BZ mole flow in the variable cell and the reference box should appear empty. Specify the reference type to be mole flow. Stream to 4 mix hot and component to benzene. Next, we will create our independent variables to see the effects on the benzene and hydrogen mole flow of the 4 mix hot stream. To start, switch the Vary tab, and in the Manipulated Variable box, specify the type to be Stream Var. Then, specify the stream to 5H2, and Variable to Mole Flow. In the Manipulated Variable Limits box, specify the start point to be 280 kmol per hour. End point to 305 kilomoles per hour, and the increment to 5 kilomoles per hour. Next, switch to the Tabulate tab and specify the first column number cell to be 1. Specify the adjacent tabulated variable or expression cell to be H2 mole flow slash BZ mole flow to obtain the hydrogen to benzene mole flow ratio in the 4 mix hot stream. Then, run the simulation. Now it is time to check the results of our sensitivity analysis. In the navigation pane, click results in the S1 folder and the results will appear. The first column shows the incremental levels of hydrogen mole flow in the 5H2 stream, starting from 280 kmol per hour to 305 kmol per hour, with 308 kmol per hour being its current specified mole flow. To the right of each cell is the resulting hydrogen to benzene mole flow in the 4 mix hot stream. Notice as the hydrogen mole flow in the 5H2 stream increases, the hydrogen to benzene ratio in the 4 mix hot stream increases, as expected. Now we will manipulate the temperature of the 5H2 stream simultaneously to observe the change to the hydrogen to benzene ratio in the 4 mix hot stream. Double click the S1 folder and create a new variable in the very menu. Double click 2 in the variable cell and in the manipulated variable box specify the type to be stream var. Stream to 5H2 and variable to temp. Next, specify the start point to be 47 and the end point to be 49 with increments of 1. Finally, run the simulation. 
Check the results of the S1 sensitivity analysis. The results displayed show the hydrogen to benzene ratio in the 4 mix hot stream for each temperature and mole flow of hydrogen in the 5H2 stream. Notice for each temperature increment at each hydrogen mole flow, the ratio of hydrogen to benzene in the 4 mix hot stream does not change. Lastly, save the model. This concludes the fourth video of the hydrogenation of benzene to cyclohexane series for Aspen Plus version 10. Please continue to video 5, which will demonstrate importing and exporting different heat exchanger blocks.